Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited to be here with you today on this video. We have a very exciting uh, announcement that we're going to make to you right now. Hennessy is going to be building our first electric vehicle. And for 30 years, we've been building some of the world's fastest, most powerful in internal combustion vehicles. You know the cars from Vipers to Hellcats to the Venom GT, most recently the Venom F5. I'm not abandoning my internal combustion, and Hennessy Performance certainly is not abandoning internal combustion. That is part of who we are and what we do. But as time moves forward, uh, we have to adapt to the, the future, and electrification is here. The thing that I struggled with on electrification was the weight of the vehicles. I just couldn't come to grips with the whole idea of having a sports car, hypercar that weighed 4,500 pounds, 4,700 pounds. That car won't stop, it won't turn like like a sports car or hypercar sh should. So two years ago, I started thinking, well, what if we did something that we're not trying to build a, a supercar, we're not trying to build a hypercar. What if we built a, an electrified vehicle that had comfortable space for four passengers, had room for four sets of golf clubs, four sets of, 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 of carry-on luggage, but I wanted us to design a car that had never been done before. I didn't want to have a conventional two people in the front, two people in the back, you know, four wheels and tires and somewhere between one and four motors. Around that time, we had just hired Nathan Malinek, our director of design. I'll have Nathan come on camera. Hi, hey John. Good to have you. Thank you. And I'm just kind of telling our story of when we sat down two years ago, so it was October of 2019. 2019. Yep and uh, we were deep into F5 and very focused on that, and we're still very focused on F5. Yeah. Um, but at that time, you know, it's always fun to have a little creativity and think of an idea and think about maybe what's next for after F5. And so you were at my house. I said, Nathan, I've got this idea for a car I want to share with you. And you were very quick to say, hey, John, before you start telling me about it, yeah. go grab a piece of paper and a, and a pen. So I went over to my wife's desk. All I could find was like a bank statement you know, this large envelope. So I yeah. handed that to you. As I began describing this special vehicle, you sketched it. We thought, wow, that's really cool. That would like be really neat to do. Hey, guess what? We got to get back to work on F5. Yeah. And that's been our focus for the last two years, right? Yeah, it definitely has. And it's a classic napkin sketch just on a bank note, which is yeah. kind of fun. Yeah. This car couldn't exist unless it was right. Electrified, right? And yeah, that's it just the gave us a thing. clean sheet of paper, literally, no yeah. pun intended, as far as being able to like design yeah. and package a car. Back in September, I was homesick, not feeling too good, and I started thinking to myself, I wonder, I wonder if there's a chance like some other design group, some other manufacturer, might just randomly come up with a similar design. So that's where I thought, let's accelerate this process, let's advance the design, let's put our stake in the ground, and without further ado, we will share with you yeah. the. Hennessy Project Deep Space. Let's do it. So we're at the kitchen table. Nathan, I've got this great idea, man. I'm like, <laughs> you know, if if four if four electric motors are good, then maybe six electric motors are better at around 400 horsepower per motor. That's way over 2,000. And horsepower. you mentioned before weight with a car like this is not necessarily our enemy. And that was the that was the other thing when we're sitting down and I'm kind of like, you know, six wheels, six wheel drive. And the other really cool design feature I thought was instead of having a, a traditional two seats in the front, two seats in the rear, Gordon Murray way back when came up with the center driving position like F1 yeah. with the two passenger seats flanking. Right. I thought, I want a diamond shaped interior. So yeah. Nathan is sketching this while the words are coming out of my mouth. Yeah. You have a driver focus, center driving position, the two passenger seats flanking behind that. And then we're at the kitchen table. I'm like, yeah, this, this rear seat, like maybe that'll be the mother-in-law seat. Maybe we'll make it face rearward or something like that. And you with your aircraft interior design background, you so eloquently said, let's make that, let's make that the VVIP seat, the very, yeah. very important person. Which is, is straight from aerospace. So why don't you why don't you talk a little bit about yeah. the interior and some sure. and some of the features about the interior? Yeah, so it really this car is kind of an inside out car in many ways because yeah. we had the package. Um, and again, you could only do it with EV, but with the diamond setup, you get the optimal driving position, which is amazing. Um, then each passenger flanking the driver has endless legroom, which is also amazing. 
And then to have the, the fourth passenger in the back in this ultimate luxurious. Um, you got Captain Kirk back there, right? Yeah, th it in is. In the captain's chair. Yes, yeah. So if they're not really into the driving experience, they're like, they got, they got, they got Kato up there driving, they got their retired Formula One guy, yeah. you've got the, the VVIP back here in like total luxury with all this technology. This really will be the first car that I know of where it's a car that you absolutely want to drive but you definitely want to be driven in it. And um, it, there's nothing else like it. World's first pure electric Hyper GT. Yeah. World's first six all wheel drive with six electric propulsion motor vehicle. Yeah. Obviously, was it Terrell and maybe Williams had yeah, so that was six one of wheel F1 cars back in the, maybe the 70s, 80s. 70s, and they were 80s. instantly banned as soon as they came up with Because they were ideas. too quick. Yeah. Because why? You yeah. get 50% more grip. more grip simply because of the rear, uh, the extra axle, and you can do a lot of other neat things with aero because you have that extra axle. Tires don't have to be quite as big, so there's a lot of advantages. F1 proved it, and now we're going to bring it to the road. And so one of the side. one of the side benefits of as we started looking more and more at the design and advancing it was this super long wheelbase. Yeah. What we're talking. 220 inches, we're talking maybe a little over 20 feet long. Yeah, about seven And we meters. believe that it will allow us to package a large battery. Our partner in Delta Cosworth developing the uh, battery technology, and just in conversation with them, just generally about it, it's gonna have incredible range, we'll say yeah. that. On that note, our other, our other partner, very significant partner in the project, are the folks at Shell and Penzoil, and they are, their technology group, uh, they're deep into developing coolants and lubricants for electrification. So their uh, executive vice president, Carlos Maurer, uh, was, happened to be in the area uh, a little over a month ago, came by the factory and, and was, we were showing him uh, the F5s that we have here. And th this was really something cool that we were able to share with him and they were very excited to, to be involved in the project. So just wanted to, to pass that along. Back to the unique design features of Project Deep Space, why don't you talk a little bit about the this is a very unique going door. It's it probably is. going to be the world's largest going door. It will be the world's largest going door. Um, and that really just comes down to ingress, egress. Right. Uh, centered driving position is unusual to get in and right. out of. Um, but the goal wing allows us to do that uh, pretty easily. And again, I, I, I want to just like just underscore again that private jet class luxury is the goal for the interior. So Absolutely. again, the VVIP seat, and I never heard that term until Nathan was formerly with a designer with Ember Air and was designing specialized private aircraft for individuals and corporations. So, you know, I thought VIP, right? No, he said, no, very, very important person. I'm like, so anyway, I think it's very appropriate for this very unique car and the, the design, but that rear seat, you want to talk a little bit about how that yeah, so flying. this is a car where you definitely want to be driven in. This is going to be a seat like no other. Um, the interior environment on this is going to be unparalleled. And this will be um, a, a unique zero gravity seat. So um, it's, that's something in aerospace that reduces fatigue over long trips. And then it's fully lay flat. This is not something that has been seen before. It's very exciting. So let me just touch on a few high level uh, items. Just, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna overlook anything important. The retail price on Project Deep Space will be around 3 million US dollars. This will be the world's most expensive electric vehicle. Yes. We are going to build 105 cars in total. Production will begin in 2026. Uh, we're already deep into the development and design of the vehicle. What's the zero to 60? How much is the horsepower? Th those are specifications that are yet to be determined and we'll certainly be sharing that with you guys in, in, in due time. But I truly believe that deep space may be the world's quickest accelerating four seat vehicle from zero to 200 miles per hour. It's not designed for top speed. F5 is by far yeah. the fastest vehicle that we will ever build from Hennessy. One of our F5 clients has already placed an order. His F5 and his deep space side by side they, they do their thing, they, 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 they're very unique designs and deliver performance and have a purpose in very, very different ways. Yeah, I've, I've always kind of put it like this. If you could only have a two car garage, you'd want a Venom F5 and you'd want Project Deep Space. Yeah. Because they do two completely different things, but they're the top of the if game. You, if you were able to own two planes, 
you'd have your F-22 Raptor, <laughs> yeah. and you'd have your G-700 Gulfstream. That's exactly this what this is. This is your G-700 Gulfstream. Yeah. Both are very fast. Yeah. They deliver their performance and their transportation in very, very different ways. Yeah. Well, guys, this has been uh, this has been a lot of fun to share this with you. I wish we could see your facial expression right now because the ones that I've shared it with, there was quite a bit of silence when I first said, hey, I've got something special I want to show you. Um, there's more news to come out about this, again, over the next several years. Uh, it's going to be a special project and journey. Uh, we invite you to just share the journey with us. It's been so exciting to kind of work on this and lead up to this moment. And uh, thank you guys, and uh, we'll be talking to you again soon. Cheers. I'm an alligator. I'm a mama, papa coming for you. I'm a space invader. I'll be a rock and rollin'.